Mac support for PC technicians is a two-day leader-led training course designed to provide an introduction to Mac OS X features and troubleshooting techniques. The AMSYS instructors, who have many years experience working with Apple and Microsoft technologies, will guide you through the most effective troubleshooting techniques for a wide range of common issues. The course is suitable for anyone who is responsible for supporting Mac OS X users. The course has Windows administrators in mind and uses their existing knowledge to quickly get to grips with the new operating system. So what's in it for you? The aim of the course is to provide the students with the confidence to troubleshoot Mac OS X issues quickly and efficiently. You will get hands-on experience with a wide range of Mac OS X utilities, including file system management, network configuration and directory services integration. The course breakdown looks a bit like this. We start off with some general introductions and discuss the students' objectives, which helps the instructor aim the course towards their specific needs. Following this, we give the students the chapter breakdown, so they know what to expect. Chapter 1 starts with an overview of Mac OS X and some of the key differences with the Windows operating systems. We then discuss the installation process, pointing out some of the common pitfalls along the way. The students will have the opportunity to configure a Mac OS X client computer from scratch. The second chapter looks at user accounts. Due to the Unix base of the operating system, the user account system is integral to Mac OS X. An understanding of how it works is a vital skill that any Mac support individual must have. Chapter 3 looks at the different file systems that are supported by Mac OS X. The main points of interest are how to troubleshoot the file system issues and how Mac OS X interacts with foreign file systems such as MTFS and FAT32. Chapter 4 moves into application troubleshooting. This chapter does not look at any one application specifically but instead concentrates on providing the students with the most effective general troubleshooting methods. Chapter 5 is the first of three networking chapters. This chapter introduces students to the basic networking theory, although this is kept fairly brief as it's assumed that they will already have some networking experience. We then look at how to configure network interfaces and protocols on Mac OS X. The second networking chapter delves a little deeper into connecting Mac OS X to some of the most widely used network services. The most obvious of these are the web services such as web browsing, email and messaging services. We then look at the common file sharing technologies with recommendations as to which ones to be used and in what situation. The chapter finishes with some basic hands-on practice connecting Mac OS X to an Active Directory domain for authentication services. The third and final networking chapter discusses providing network services from the Mac client. These include file sharing, web sharing and remote administration for support personnel. Chapter 8 switches focus over to peripheral troubleshooting. Mac do support the most common external connections like USB, Firewire and even wireless technologies like Bluetooth, but the troubleshooting approaches will differ a great deal from Windows. Next we take a look at printing. The students will go through the process of connecting their Mac OS X clients to a printer and try out some of the techniques used to troubleshoot common printing issues. As you've probably seen, Apple have a pretty friendly looking startup process as far as the consumers are concerned. Unfortunately, a grey screen with a pretty looking Apple logo doesn't help you if your Mac is crashing during startup. This chapter delves into the startup process and gives the student an understanding of what the Mac's doing behind the scenes. They will then try out some of the commonly used troubleshooting techniques such as safe mode, verbose mode and single user mode. The final chapter looks at some of the other widely used troubleshooting techniques. These include a large number of industry tips and tricks that never seem to make their way into manuals but can save a huge amount of time and effort on the technician's part. So that concludes the overview of the Mac support for PC technicians training course from AMSYS. If you'd like to book a place on this course or view our live schedule, please visit www.amsys.co.uk forward slash training. If you'd like to discuss this course in more depth, please call any of the training team on 0208 660 9999. Thanks for watching.